I don't recommend this, guys. Get the cards ready, get the revolutes ready. That's the only options you have. Sending wire transfer, revolutes, or um, card payments. But yeah. All right, guys, so today we will buy a Swevrite, if it's still here. Let's take a look at the stones here. Yes, it's still here. This is the stone I'm planning to buy on the left side right there. I'll show you. The stone right there I'm planning to buy. Let's see. Hey, I'm back. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so uh, I'm still interested in Swevrite. My question is, what payments do you accept? Cash or do you have Revolut? Revolut. It's uh, like an online bank. You don't have that, right? How do you? How do I pay? Huh? Never heard of the Revolut. Never heard of it. Like it's very famous. Like really? Uh, most people don't know it, but it's uh, actually a pretty cool uh, app. You can use it to uh, send money worldwide immediately, almost Revolut. It's, uh, it's like a real bank account. You can also trade crypto. It's, it's popular in Europe. Oh, worldwide, it's quite really? popular. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty popular. Like, you can buy stocks, whatever. But yeah, so PayPal would be too much fees, right? Oh, yeah. PayPal, five percent. Nothing free. It's no fees. That's why everybody loves it. You know, no fees. Uh, so PayPal, you have, but it's too much fees, right? Uh, bank cards, like card payments. How much fees do you charge on your? 3%, so that, that's okay, 3%. Mm, that's it, card or wire, right? Sending. You can wire, wire is free. Wire is free, but it takes four days, like around, if I send from my European account to you, it's four days. So yeah. Um, Better cash? Yeah, cash. cash is the best, but uh, the question is, how much money can I get out of the ATM? Because I get cash out of the ATM, it's, it's annoying, like, all of getting all of the cash out, and then we uh, need to count it. What's the fee for getting? I pay overall uh, 2.5%. That's the best for and, you, I guess. But I'd pay $5 every time I cash 20, I can get only 25 maximum out. 25,000 Yeah, and then I have to pay $5 every time I cash out that. Yeah, how much is uh, 25,000 baht? Let me see, it's like $800, I think. Yeah. So 50,000. Five dollars is charged. That is like two point two percent. That's what I'm saying. Or extra two percent. Uh, extra five plus two point two percent. Yeah, exactly. Five dollars plus two point two percent extra. The exchange rate is two plus two point five percent around that. So uh, yeah, let me see. So fifty thousand baht is how much US dollars? That's one thousand four hundred eighty US dollars. All right. All right. Can I look at the swear right again? How much you said per uh, foot? 650 per carat. It was three and a half. Three and a half, okay. So that's how the negotiation is done in real life. That's a real negotiation. Not how you see it on social media. Because it's irritating with the payment options and etc. You know, if you are in a foreign country, it can be complicated to access cash here. Mm. So, yeah. So 650 times three points. How much carrots you said? It's not certified yet, right? Yeah, not So I can talk the price down a little bit. <laughs> if it doesn't come as <laughs> samurai, then you can. <laughs> oh, if it doesn't come as I'm pretty sure it's a swear right, guys. That's the. Uh, Swear right here, you cannot see really, but it's an amazing stone. We can always check a logo. What floor? Yeah. Uh, near GCI. Oh, there's a lab that can certify right away a little. You can do a verbal check. Yeah, yeah verbal check. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm a gemologist. I'm. I'm. Pr no, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I check myself. <laughs> I write a certificate myself. Let's see. Three point three nine. So that would be um, 2,203 US dollars, right? All right, so certification cost me, uh, how much is the French certification? The Bella, how's it called? 3,500 So it's uh, over 100, uh, a little over $100. Okay, okay. 
So I could not talk down $200 to 2000 <laughs> Could Would you take 2000 <laughs> No. I, mean, I, I gave you a really good You gave price. me, yeah, it's, yeah. That's already a very good price. Yeah. So 2203 would be the price. 50,000 US, no, 50,000 baht. I was able to get out of the ATM. It's just also a question of how annoying is it to get all the cash out, you know? I could all also go, go there again, but at, at a certain point, my, my, my bank account card will get blocked eventually because they think I'm doing fraud. You know, if you withdraw the maximum amount of cash out of um, do multiple transactions, like cash transactions, the bank could have a reason to ba ban your account because it could be fraud, like someone stole your card, even if I tell them. so. Uh, I, I prefer to send money, right? Uh, but wire, the problem with wires, I would wire him the money and I could not take the stone right away, right? I would, you would have to wait until you have the money and then I could take the stone. So that, that's one of the issues now with uh, buying a gemstone. Uh, yeah, let me see. So 2,200, 50,000 baht is 1,480. So if I get 75,000 baht, which is once again, the maximum out of the ATM, 75,000, but would be 2,200. Wow, that, that fits perfectly. So 2,220 US dollars would be 75,000, but so I need to go to the ATM one more time and get the maximum out and then I would have enough. So yeah, let me get the cash you can do next and I'll be back. Time you can increase your overseas ATM limit. Yeah. So that you can withdraw more. No, no, I already maxed it out. I already made sure of that. Yeah, yeah, I can do this online. But my problem is standing there, literally. Okay, another one. Another one. Like this is I'll show you now the stacks. So this is This is ridiculous surface. No, this is this is stack. So that's fifty thousand bucks here, guys. This is fifty thousand this looks like a lot of money, but it's actually not. For instance, in Germany, we in Europe we have five hundred euro bills, which is 1000 this would be $1,000 over $1,100 around that and two builds just two builds and this is The same similar amount in cash in the maxed out bill like this is the biggest bill they have in and in, in, in bots, right? This is around how much 30 euros 30, 30 euros uh, for 1000 bucks is 30 euros It's ridiculous, bro. This is you feel like you are rich, but in, in the end you are just broke with inflation money, you know like so yeah, let me get more cash and then we can do the transaction in cash because that's the other only option, right? Like as we have figured out, uh, yeah. I'm still fla flabbergasted by uh, that it's the only way to go here. Either you wait or you have cash, right? Let's see. So guys, pretty interesting. So I've learned if I pay with my card, they deduct Thai baht from my account, which means they will exchange the Thai baht to euros, which is another 2%. So I eventually will have to pay 5% total if I pay with cards here. So always keep in mind, you know, you need to try out maybe a small amount at first and then see how much you actually got charged and then do the big amount because you might have a surprise in the end that it might be 5% instead of 3%, which is not too bad. But if you spend a lot of money on gemstones, you know, and you keep doing it, if you, wiring yeah, yeah, wiring is T T is the best option, <laughs> but it takes time. Nobody yes, wants yes. to, you know, if you plan on I doing think it. You're paying a lot of money. You yeah. can wait two, three days. I think it's yeah. fine. I mean, I, I you could, can seal it. That's the norm. I know, I know. You, you yeah. seal it and then you yeah, put you it in the safe, it. keep yes. it. I know. But people always want it right now. They want it like a pair of shoes. You know, they buy it. They want it right now. You, should, you know. You should swipe your card. Or yeah, yeah. You should bring you the cash. Yeah, yeah I see. I see. So now I get, need to get more cash and uh, where do I get cash? Let me see. On the other side. Let's go on this side here. It's quite irritating and annoying, but the fees are quite high. I mean, 5% on 100 grand would be uh, 5,000 US dollars. So 5,000 US dollars is a lot of money, right? Like people work hard for 5,000 US dollars. So I, I don't think I should... <laughs> give 5,000 US dollars to these big corporations and banks that are already the most powerful organizations like financial institutes in the world. So let me get more cash. Let me show you. Here's the ATMs. Could go here. 
show you. So all you need to see our account. Card, where is it? So button. Takes so long. What else is <laughs> What the fuck, bro? Don't tell me it, it just swallowed my card without giving it back. What is going on? Giving my card back. Cancel. What the hell, bro? You know that, that's what I'm talking about. You you don't want to deal with this. Like, what's going on here now? Well, well, I've told it's a bad idea to record the transactions making deals because it's literally impossible. Like, I just inserted my card here and. Uh, <laughs> Guess my card is gone now. Okay, now it wants my uh, pin, but I will cancel it. I will not conduct business. You see, that was once again an accurate representation on, of the, making business with Thai people here, because it's. Bro, I don't trust this machine. This is a better machine. Yeah, definitely use the newer machine, because the old machine uh, is scary. You saw that. That was literally. Uh, 60 seconds or 90 seconds of just taking my card away yeah all right this machine should be better because i already withdraw here i withdrew here and uh, let's see put the pin in english so the maximum is 25,000 baht. Confirm. Huh. I think this is like 800 euros or something. It's not nothing much, but look at the stack, like literally. Looks like a lot of money. In reality, it's little to nothing, 800 euros. So. Yeah, we can take one more out, I guess. And we can we can withdraw until the end of time here. Let's put it in again. Okay, twenty five. That's what I'm talking about. Like I could employ a person to do this. Shit is annoying. Like. Okay, you see, contact my bank doesn't work. I guess they banned my account now. Whatever. So yeah guys, as you can see, my daily card payment limit is 5,000 and my withdrawal limit is 2,500 and I cannot uh, go higher than that also. So yeah, this is annoying. Tomorrow I get a new card from another bank and uh, that might be the only option. But you have these tremendous limitations of spending, you know, like, what is this? Like 2,500, you can't buy nothing for that. I mean, in the gem industry, this is nothing, you know, 2,500. Let's see, maybe I can uh, spend, maybe this is separated. I can withdraw two five and I can uh, spend five. That would be dope. That would be 7,500 euros I could spend daily. Uh, and monthly, the limitation is huge. I mean, it's, it's very complicated this year, you know. Could be also a business opportunity for you to be a contra the middleman guy, you know, uh, conducting business because there are a lot of people that want to conduct business here make bus big business deals but they are not able to because they have quite limitations and uh, they, they don't have experience with uh, the banking aspect of it because uh, obviously you you can make it happen there are bank accounts etc that that could have no limitations and you could also have unlimited spending but you would need to write a credit card for that to write bank accounts but yeah let's see
All right, we are back. Uh, my card limitation was 2,500 euros a day. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I can sit inside now. I also have a, a card limitation of 2,500 euros a day. Uh, yeah, per day. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I try to. I try to. I mean, I have, I have enough now, but I need to buy other stones too. Like, what is this? You know, like, I need to step up my banking game, I guess, because the limitations are not acceptable. Like, right? just, just around. I'm gonna take a look at this, guys. What the fuck? You would have this in euros, you would be uh, quite wealthy. But this is nothing in Thailand. <laughs> this is crazy, like, the fuck? Just to count this, like, one, two, three, four, five. It's, it's a very good really price, yeah, yeah. You can't go any cent lower. No. I'm not like that. <laughs> you're not like that, yeah. okay. All right, let's do the price you told me. If you're, Whatever, if yeah. you're different from a different country, if you're Chinese yeah. or something, yeah. I would have asked more. Because I know. Really? They, oh, they I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You okay. know people yeah. who, who like to buy yeah, yeah. who like to buy straight price. Yeah. So we say That's the, the difference. price accordingly. That's what <laughs> you, you feel it already. If yeah. someone wants to bargain or not, you see, Pro guys. Total 1,200 to carry. Yeah, you see guys, so the, all of these negotiation videos you see on the internet, uh, take those with precaution because it, that's not how the business is done, you know. It depends on the, the customer, but if once he saw me, he felt like I would be a serious buyer that doesn't negotiate a lot. So he right, right away gave me his best price and uh, without any bullshit, without any, you know, talking around. Uh, that's the end price he told me and now I accept the price because he, clear, he made now clear that that's the end price So I accept the price that's how it's done. So yeah, I guess uh, most of these negotiations are complete uh, fake or they are those are people that are starting with a way higher price than They already tell you right away a higher price because they know you will negotiate That's how they're this is, there's two types of businesses telling right away the end price and being a uh, open for negotiations and then setting it to a higher price right away. Yeah, but yeah, finding a stone like this is very hard and the price is okay and definitely buy the, I will buy the stone. Guys, that's the effort. Each one of these is 30 euros worth, each bill. And it's nothing. Guys, this is total inflation currency. It's insane. Um, also, I just lost one, one bill of those, so basically 30 euros, which is not a big deal. But I'm so irritated because I'm like, I, I see 1,000 euro bills here. My mind is just thinking like that. Uh, it doesn't matter if I lose a thousand baht or not, but uh, I found it, I guess. But dealing with cash is very complicated. It's risky, complicated and irritating unless you deal with euros, pounds or US dollars, then it's easier. But with inflation currency, I don't recommend this, guys. Get the cards ready, get the Revolut ready. That's the only options you have. Sending wire transfer, Revolut or um, card payments. But yeah. Three. Six, 
seven. And four. That was quite simple, but I like it even simpler, you know, pressing a button is much easier. Or swiping a card. So yeah. Just sign it. Cool, that's the Swear Red Stone. Amazing. An amazing deal. You have to search a long time for this usually. In this case, I was lucky to find him in the uh, basement of the JTC and amazing deal. And if there is any problem with yeah. the stone, just let me Yeah, know. for sure, for sure. I'll let you know. I will certify it and uh, I will tell you the results, etc. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing business. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. I'm happy, regardless of the effort to get the money. Very good deal. See you in the next video, guys. So yeah, that's also pretty interesting. I asked him if uh, swear rights anyhow treated, and apparently it's not in the trade, it's not treated. But uh, in Tourmaline, in Germany, for instance, I know that they oil them sometimes, and we just talked about Paraipa. In Paraipa, it's uh, even uh, resin enhanced, you said, sometimes. There's uh, Opticon in it. Opticon resin and they are heated usually heated, but that's the thing if the stone is very valuable if there's big potential in it People will make the effort to actually enhance it if it's just tourmaline people They, they don't really care, you know, like tourmaline is not that expensive, but, but in Germany they do the Germany They want every cent out of you like the enhancement, uh, yeah. in GIA they do write it for you Of course for they identify it, yeah, yeah, especially with uh, the power yes. if, if it's a valuable stone if it's a tourmaline Let's say it's a green tourmaline Maybe they don't even care if it's oiled or not, but I'm pretty sure the labs will figure it out. I'm, I don't know, they will uh, UV scan it, they will look at it. I'm also figuring now out how do the uh, laboratories operate, it's quite interesting. Because if they have emeralds there and they want to figure out how it's oiled, one of the labs uses UV light, I know that for sure. And I would say all of them pretty much use it, but I don't know. I tested some of the stones I bought and they had very different oiling with my, under my UV light, the way I test them, so I'm like... Uh, Still trying to figure out if this is even a reliable way of telling how how heavily it's oiled the labs because I can I, I know that they have limited time for each stone. Yes, they cannot spend two hours identifying the oiling. But you know, if you specify them about like this could be oil. Yeah, it might take some time to check the stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't specify, it, they'll just check as normal. Oh, really? Really? You you need to tell them if, like if you are if you're doubtful yeah. about the stone. You if you're doubtful about it, you can tell them. Okay, okay. If it's oil, please check for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Once again. Oh, okay. So they can recheck it for you. They can recheck. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Because what I've checked, the way I check it is uh, a good UV light and it never lies to me. I mean, in a sense of I have some background knowledge about UV reactive substances and it's the most efficient way. You know, you look at it, okay. it always pops up. It always pops up, anything. But there's also people that told me, you cannot do this. There are natural inclusions that are UV reactive. There are also in the fissures. I'm like, but how do labs operate then? You, you literally try to tell me there's a man sitting there for, for one hour looking at, on the special light, looking at the oiling, I don't believe that. That's uh, impossible. Like, if you have so many stones, you need to check them straight away, like fast, right? You know, time's money, so... Uh, that kind of stone, if it's natural reaction, then there, there must be uh, a certain spread around the stone. If it's just in a point, surely that's I mean, in, in Germany are a lot of conspiracy theorists, you know, and uh, they are all certified uh, gem gemologists. But to be honest, uh, they learned a lot from me too, you know, like, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. It's very complicated. I didn't study gemology. That's the funny thing. I didn't study it. Uh, you, matter of fact, you, you cannot study gemology. In Germany, you can only study geology. If you have a if you have a PhD in geology, you are recognized as a intelligent person. You know, but yes, you know about geology, you know about life, you know about PhD in geology. Yeah, I don't, I don't. But uh, that's the only certification you can have in Germany that would make you a educated person in that field. If you are a gemologist, everybody can be a gemologist. It's not it's not difficult, you know. But uh, in most of the stuff, a true 
gemologist, in my opinion, is a person in the trade like you. You to me a real gemologist because you deal with it in real life. You know, it's a, it's a, it's more practical than theoretical. You know, theoretical is also important, but uh, like the African guys, they they don't even need to know. They don't need uh, equipment. They know right away. They look at the stone. They know what it is because they have so much experience. You know, practical experience. So uh, yeah. It's about practical experience, guys. No theoretical. Guys, here you can see this is where right I just bought, and this is the real investment swear right, a round cut swear right, which is a bluish green color. I would call it not bluish green, but real green, deep green, swear right green, round cut, very hard to get. And the stone we bought was much cheaper, much, much cheaper. It has a inclusion on the side, as you can see which decreases the value, but still a nice stone. Um, it's yellowish green, yellowish green. Also very nice, big face. Paid for this uh, very small amount. This was very cheap. This one is uh, two and a half thousand a carat. Investment stone, no inclusion. Superb stone. Here we have a Mozambique ruby, two carats, which is uh, $3,800 a carat. It's also a nice stone, has a window in it, it's a flat cut, but big face, yeah. As you can see, mine is more pinkish red, and this is really red. It's a little orangey looking, but it's a real red. Mine is more pinkish, but maybe mine is more vibrant. I don't know how they grade this, but uh, I think it should be graded by the red intensity. I think I don't have any red. Okay, okay. All right, now you can tell that this is more reddish and this is literally pink looking, but it's certified as ruby, I think. We will uh, ask the owner of the stone, we will take a look at the certification in a minute. And uh, yeah, very interesting to see that there's a big color difference. You can tell right away that one of these stones is pinkish, one of them is really red. To me, this is not even really ruby red, but uh, it's much more red than the pink stone. And when we take a look at the ruby red stone, the Pigeon Blood certified stone, it's even more red. It becomes even more apparent that there is a uh, big color difference. Guys, here we can see the color differences in ruby. The fact that this is certified as a ruby is insane. I guess they try to keep a healthy market alive. But uh, you can see this is really red. This is more pink. And this, these two are unheated here, actually. And there's nothing bad about a pink sapphire. They're also beautiful and rare, but to call it a, a ruby is kind of irritating to the consumer because it's literally purplish, fuchsia looking red. And uh, yeah, that's that much. Very nice stones.